Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. <clears throat> I'm glad to be back with you again here in my study <clears throat> to share with you just a word again about a 10 minute message on the, the, from the Bible. And I'd like to share this word on the fact that we need to leave a legacy for others, especially for our children and our families, and, but, but especially for everybody. We need to leave an example, a good example for others when we leave this life. Oh, that is so important. My dear father, praise God, Jim Humphreys, he, he did not have a lot of money, he never did have, but he, he, he was a very good man and loved God and loved his family and everybody had a, had a good word for Jim Humphreys. And when he died, he left us a good name. And the Bible says that a good name is better than great riches. And so I'm grateful that we can leave a good name for others to follow after us. The Bible says over in Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, these words, Now these are the commandments of the Lord, which He commands you this day, that you may fear the Lord and keep His word, which I command thee, and that your son and your son's son, your children and your grandchildren, and all the days that they live, may their lives will be blessed. And so here is a word that God is commanding us to, to keep, not only for ourselves, but for our children and our grandchildren. And it's a wonderful thing to know that many times we find that the truth is that, there, that uh, uh, the truth, the things we leave for our others go on to their children and we gain things from those who've gone before us. In other words, it starts out there with the grandparents, it comes down to the parents and then down to the children and to the grandchildren. And so it is that many times a whole family, generation after generation, can be blessed when people leave uh, the Word of God and, and the truths that they've lived behind them when they leave. We need to do that. We need to see the importance of it. And we need to live so that our lives will count the lives of others and of our children. Hear therefore and observe and obey what I say, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as the Lord promised, in the land that flows with milk and honey. And so in order to do good in this life, you must let God have His way. Sometimes we miss it because we're not following God. Sometimes we go hungry and often to the point where we don't have the money that we need to pay bills because we've left out God. We need to come to realize that the Bible says that if who he will trust in the Lord, his needs will be supplied. You, you will find your needs supplied. The Bible says, Trust the Lord and do good, and verily you shall be fed, and your water and your bread and your food will be sure. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So we need to trust the Lord. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord. You shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart and soul, mind and strength. And so... We need to recognize this truth that we're to love God. This is the word of the Lord. And this is a way we can leave a good uh, evaluation for our children, a good reputation behind us, a good legacy for those who will follow in our footsteps. And that is to love God with all your heart and soul and your mind and strength. To do this, you need to get rid of self as best you can and turn things over to God and believe. Believe that He's there. Believe He's a good God and loves you. Believe He wants to come into your life and change it. Believe that He's real and He wants even now to be your God forever. So trust Him. Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord. He's the way to the Father and the way to heaven. And so it is important that we learn these truths and obey the Lord and keep them. Then he says, teach them diligently to your children. Talk of them when you're in the house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you get up. It's a good thing to talk about the things of God before your children all the time. They may not always want to hear it. That's all right. Just speak of it in love and let them hear often from your lips the fact that you believe in Jesus, that you love the Lord God, that you read the Bible. These things are so important to leave as a legacy to our families. And then he says in this, 
and uh, and uh, it shall be when the Lord has brought you into a good, <coughs> a good land, that uh, a land full of good things, of milk and honey, uh, and of wells that you didn't dig, uh, and of houses that you didn't build, and of vineyards that you didn't plant. Beware lest you forget the Lord, which blessed you in all these things. Therefore, fear the Lord, and serve Him with all your heart. And so we ought not forget that everything we have in this world that money can buy really comes from God. It all came from Him. We all drink from wells that we didn't dig and houses that we didn't build. Oh, we might say, yes, I built them, I paid for this, yes, but where did you get strength to build it? Where did you get the knowledge to know and make the money to pay for it? It all comes from God. It all is a gift of God to you that you were able to acquire these things. And so it's all a blessing of God. And therefore, we're to fear the Lord God and serve Him. Now this fear is not a fear like a person has toward a tyrant, but it's a fear like a child has to a godly parent. It's an awesome respect and reverence. And that's why I, how we ought to fear, feel toward God. I, I praise God. We need to love God and we need to fear God. And when we fear God, <coughs> excuse me, we bless His holy name. And Jesus said, when you love God, you need to love your neighbor even as yourself. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart and soul, mind and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. I need to love you, dear friend. Whatever you think about me, whatever you say about me, I need to love you because God said love your neighbor. He didn't say love them if they're good to you. Love them if they're a nice neighbor. No, love your neighbor, period. Whoever they are. Love them, because God loves you. With all your faults, He loves you. With all your mistakes, God loves you. And He's there to remove those sins and give you victory and bring you in and lead you out. The Lord Jesus said in John 14th, chapter verse 21, He that hath my commandments and keeps them is he that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and I will reveal myself to him. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my word. You need to read the word, dear friend. Read the word and endeavor to obey it. Read the word and live by it. The word gives life and light and freedom. And it's he that reads my word and keeps them, my commandments. Is he that loves me. And if you love me, Jesus said, the Father will love you. And I will love you. And I will reveal myself to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want Jesus revealed to you? Then love Him. Love Him and love God. Because God loves you. So this is a way to leave a good name. It's to love God and love your neighbor. It's to do good and read the Word. It's to abide in Christ and let Him abide in you. And then you'll be leaving a legacy for those who follow after you. And your name will continue to live on in the lives of others. God bless you, dear friend. In Jesus' name, trust Jesus, and you will leave a good legacy. Amen and amen.